Hey guys, happy Friday. I hope you've been having a really awesome week and doing some fun stuff with your family. Today, we're gonna make some really cool art. And our art today, we're gonna paint germs. Have you heard a lot of people talking about germs lately and how we have to wash our hands for a long time? We have to make sure we don't touch anything. It might have germs on it. So I thought it would be fun, since everybody's talking about germs, for us to paint some germs, okay? So what you're gonna need is a piece of paper. You're going to need a straw, and you're going to need some cups. And this is similar to what we used when we did our salt painting. I just made some liquid watercolors if we were at school, we'd use our liquid watercolors, but since we're not at school and we're at home, I tried to think of things where we're using things we already have at home. So all I did was put some food coloring and some water in this cup and I mixed it up. And I did that purple one and then I did the same thing with blue. I put some food coloring in it and a little bit of water and it makes liquid watercolors. And then at the end, you'll need a black marker. All right, so I'm gonna show you. This is a really fun to make germs. You're gonna get some of your liquid watercolors and you're gonna make a little blob. Just getting it, just a little pool, a swimming pool of purple. Yours might be a different color and you're gonna put it on your paper. And then you're gonna get your straw, watch Miss Carlson, and I'm gonna blow and make it splatter out. Do you like my purple germ? Does it look gross? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna make another germ. I'm gonna make a blue germ. So I'm gonna get some in my paintbrush. I'm gonna make a little pool of blue. And I'm gonna blow my paint to make it spread out. You can sort of turn your straw whatever way you want it to go. If you want it to go that way, and blow it that way. All right, now look at this germ. He sort of looks like he has a long leg, doesn't he? When I look at him, that sort of looks like a tail. Do you see that? So you can do as many germs as you want, and then you're gonna let that part dry. Now I have one that I did earlier that's already dried. I made purple and blue germs, and now I'm, it's when I'm gonna use my black marker. And I'm gonna give my germs some details so it doesn't just like I made a spill spot of paint. So I'm gonna give my germs some eyeballs. I'm gonna draw some circles and a dot. And I gave my germs some eyeballs. I'm gonna give him a mouth too. I'm gonna make it a zigzag mouth. So he's starting to look more like a germ. I might even give him some little horns because I'm tired of germs. I'm very tired of germs. I'm gonna give this guy, you see this little part? I sort of think it looks like a tail. I'm gonna add a little fluff to the end to make it look like a fluffy tail. All right, now I'm gonna give my purple guy. I'm gonna look and decide where I want his face to be. I'm gonna make his face up here. I'm gonna give him some eyes. I'm gonna make this germ look surprised. <gasps> I'm a surprise germ. Or I'm gonna give him some silly little antennas. I think this looks like his tail. He's got a big fluffy tail. All right, I'm gonna give my other germ some details. This one I'm gonna make have really big eyes. Actually, I'm gonna make him have one eye. He's sort of like a monster germ. But I'm gonna make it a girl. I know some of the girls in our class, they taught me how to make fancy girl eyeballs. He's gonna have a girly germ. So what else would a girly germ have? I think a girly germ would have a Jojo bow. Don't you think? 
All right, I've got one more germ. It's a big blue germ. And I'm gonna give him some square eyes. He's gonna be the silly germ. He's sticking out his tongue. Give him some silly feet. He looks like a bird, doesn't he? All right, so I hope you had fun making your splattered paint germs today or monsters, whatever you want to make yours turn into. I hope it was super fun, and I can't wait to see a picture of your germs. And I will see y'all next week. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. And wash your hands a whole lot. <laughs> Bye.